Sure, so since I got about fifty, I reckon I almost had bloody fifty of these meters. Got some of this in this uh, this model, the meter, and some of more time switch um, uh, based. So I've got so many of them, it's not bloody funny. So I might as well pass some phantom learning and destruction with some of them. They're all pretty much the same inside, all good for parts anyway. So by the way, let's uh, phantom load this one. See how much you can take. <laughs> All right, let's pump the most um, load this minute has ever seen. Load it right up. This is going to get some uh, serious um, killer when I was pumped to it. Makes a lean out. Yeah, need to be wiring up. I want to have uh, cords being bloody chip as it. Look at it right there. I'll plug the um, isolating transformer in so the potential's on. All right, potential's on. Variac is on zero. Plug that in. I've got a fan going here. Help keep this um, air around not cool. The longer I can keep it cool, the um, more heat I can uh, induce inside that meter. Just to see how much it can take before it melts down. Before a lot of the, um, the transformer will end up being the one that fails first. I don't really want that. You can see my wiring. It's all over the place. Getting in the flame of the camera and everything. That's better. All right. We'll zoom in a tiny bit. Let's get set up here. Alright, just get that adjusted right. Now this uh, is your pulse light here. The main. So let's go to there, I'm ready to, ready to go. Well, that's right, this power board has a bad connection. Alright, that's 290 volts, so it's 240 volt climbing. Let's turn it back down for a second. How much sounds have I got here? Oh yeah, 184 amps. Dropping there. 184 amps, so 100 amp meter. Oh, just melting down. Damn, zoom out. My wiring's gone in the meltdown here, look at that. Um, yeah, I've got to remove those wires. That's why the voltage, uh, the amps dropped. Those wires are too small. I have to um, take those off and just go straight off the big the big main uh, winding here. Alright, let's do some modifications. Alright, taking this outside for safety reasons. Got my wires all not crossed up. Everything's free in the air, so to speak, so they're not touching anything. Alright, one big tip. Never let your wires touch, because I just uh, nearly shot up a bloody fan power lead out. It got melted to the bloody green lead on this phantom load transformer. Yeah, not good. Luckily it didn't hit the um, inner sheath. Alright, potential is on. Okay, variant zero, variant on, plugged in. Alright, set it up. Set the fan up here to cool it down. Get that chance from a cool. Or the um, secondary, that is. Turn it down a little bit. I'll do a current measurement here. Just prop that fan up. Alright. Now that go over there. I'm getting that meter out. Carefully measure the current. We have 145 amps through that. And I've turned the variant down to 80, not 90 volts. 240 volts in. We have 617 amps through that meter. Fan up there. Variac on zero. Unplug everything. Yeah, it's getting a bit too melted that uh, mop secondary. Unplug that safety first. 
in this second it's virtually ready melted together. Ooh, ooh. Damn! That's one smoky, you know that's bloody smoking. Smoky. Feel the back of the meter. Things got warm in there. Ooh, the back of that meter's warm. Let's tear it apart and see what the uh, sensor, the uh, current mode looks like. Uh, I can't bloody remember if it was this one that had the current. I think it's got the CTs or the um, hall sensors. Can't remember which one, but we'll open it up to see what, melt, uh, what melted, what damage you've done. Whew, that got hot. Whew, it's almost rotted together. Look at that, the insulation stuck together. <laughs> Damn, that got hot. Prime is okay. Oh, it's a bit warm. That's because I turned it way over 240 volt. I put 280 volt for a 240 volt primary. It's obviously going to get hot. Anyway, we'll uh, take this meter off and see what the uh, the internals are like. See what got melted. What a smoke coming out of it! Poor oh, smoke in there. Oh yeah, things got warm in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, did things get warm in there? It got warm in there. You can smell it. Whew. Don't know what they came up with. They were holding something in there. I like a little bus bar. Oh, that's hot. Almost melted that zip tie completely off. Little hole sensor there. Don't know if it's any good anymore. It's all plastic and it's not melted, but it's uh, loose. Oh, this thing got warm. It got warm. Hmm. If I can't put enough amps to it, I wonder what my big PFC capacitor would be. It would just be a dead short though, because it's only going through that one little bar. It's a complete dead short, so it probably won't, won't blow up. I'll have to put it through the um, through the power supply. I'll blow all this up, and this will all be vaporized if I put all this. This will probably be the first to go. And the power supply, this will be vaporised if I put this in my um, PFC capacitor through the um, active and neutral inputs. We'll, um, we'll uh, simulate a massive power surge. There your inputs there to power the actual meter itself up. Oh yeah, it got hot. This uh, little relay might be useful for something though. There's another whole sensor there. Man, this thing got smoking hot. <laughs> Wonder what's going to happen. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll fix it. I think this will simulate a pretty good power surge, won't it? Active in, neutral in. That's the power to meter itself, not the actual load bar. Because the actual load bar, like I just did on that, will actually just short this bank right out, and nothing's going to happen. But if I put it through the power inputs, the power to meter itself, the potential, I might get some spectacular. Uh, Vaporized components in there. Let's see what happens, eh? I'll get set up, I'll get the chicken stick up, hook this up, I'll leave my front of it and see what happens. Oh, I'll go around the corner, we had to discharge it around the doorway and hide it behind the doorway of this color van and be shielded from shrapnel. Here we go. Let it get right up. Charge it up. Oh yeah! Interesting! Just as I expected. Look at that! Awesome! Discharge. Safety first. Ha! Oh, that was awesome! Look at that, eh? Hell of a power surge. ZFS is disconnected and isolated. Sort the bank out for safety. Oh, look at that! Ha ha! Awesome! Let's have some closer shots of that. <laughs> that was epic. 
There we are. Nelson EMS 2600 gets a simulated power surge. Short it out. Safety first. Isolated. Checks have been made. Look at that, the force of the explosion just ripped the bloody terminal screw and the brass thing out. Look at that. Ha! Oh, that is impressive. I don't know if the primary of that transform was okay. Just blew that bloody the neutral wire off. Hmm, I wonder if this will still work. Hmm, let's get my variac out and plug a lead into it, see if it still works. Made in Australia for the win. This thing's tough. Then again, it's designed to withstand this sort of abuse being a meter. This is the first thing that's going to get hit in your house if lightning was to strike it or the um, lead coming into your house. There's an MOV there. Does not seem to be physically damaged. Just blew that wire off. It looks like it blew up on both ends. And that connects to, which that's there, and that was a neutral connection. It actually desoldered itself. And this blew off on both ends. Oh, it's soft. There's no copper in there. Huh, a bit of copper out of it like a fuse. No way. Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's see if this thing still works. I believe well, the shock, the pressure wave inside the casing of that meter was enough pressurized it to the point it cracked the, um, the LCD. That is impressive. Be interesting to note how much PSI was in this thing when it went poof. Well, I got some decent pressure in it for it to do that. Now, that, I wonder if this actually would happen in the field day, you know, a proper power surge. Apparently it does. So, I've, I reckon I've simulated one pretty damn accurately here. Now that, I think, that, I think that can disconnect it when it actually blew apart. And that plugged in up there. So when it came disconnected, but it didn't blow apart from the shockwave. But that is impressive. Awesome. All right, let's ride the lead up to, to an isolation transformer. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Will it still work? That is a question. Let's find out. No, it doesn't. Oh, I killed it. That is awesome. It's dead. Not even Bob the Builder can fix that one. There you go. Simulated power surge. Unplug safety first. Let's just try swapping the polarity around. It definitely did. <laughs> Didn't work. The tracer there is completely vaporized. Alright, let's just put it on the lead of that resistor. That drop thing resistor. I'll put the neutral directly on that lead, then see if it works. Vaporized trace. Bypass to see if it still works. Still dead. Yeah, it's definitely dead. Nothing. Dead to the world. Here we are. Unplug safety first. That was impressive though. That was a good simulation of a power surge. Look at that, huh? That is awesome. Let's have a look at the other side of the circuit board. See what it's like under there. Briefly desoldered itself and it blew another tracer there. I reckon this, this thing's repairable. I reckon I could fix this. You see it desoldered itself there. There were some bloody amps in that discharge. 112 kilojoules. So, I think it's Depending on the flyback, if that flyback was output was 40 to 30 kV for example. 30 kV at bloody 256 microfarad, 112 kilojoules. So there's a formula to work out the amps. I reckon this would have been well, well over half a well over a mega amp if I had let it go long enough. Because um they got, got the peak at 13 amps and went down to 10 and just stayed there for a bit. It didn't drop all the way down below 10, so I didn't let it charge up all the way, so that bank will have mega amp potential in its discharge. I reckon I could get at least maybe 4 or 5 million amps out of that at 30 kV. That's a hell of a lot of energy. A hell of a lot of energy. So I'll just jump a wire across that and see what happens. Just see if this actually does still work after this uh, simulated uh, power search here. The line trace has been repaired. Let's see if this thing still works. Oh, 
Oh, 51. No, still a Google. Yep. It really is dead. <laughs> that is impressive at the damage. That is unbelievable. Here I go through that resistor. I reckon that resistor's got open. Chomp it. Yeah, it's dead. I'm shorting the resistor across, overloading the power supply. It's definitely dead, still not working. That resistor's not really open. It's dead. There we are. But that was impressive. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. There's a date tag there. 23rd of April, 1998. Learned something. It's not really a button. I wonder why that was a bit bloody funny. It felt like it was seized or something hard to press. It's a reflective mirror. And that's an optical pickup. When I press that, it changes the reflective of that pickup. Yeah, I've never seen that an optical button. There you go, you learn something every day. I've never seen a button of that type. Huh. Learn something every day. Thanks for watching.